Short selling overextended penny stocks are a great way to make a killing on the stock market. Overextended means that the share price of a stock has become so high that it isn't justifiable by any fundamental analysis. But you've got to know what and why to short. To answer those questions, here's your host of the Bag Holder Stock of the Week, LaSalle Inungu. Yes, indeed. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode here of Bag Holder Stock of the Week. And you guys know I hit it out the park last week with SPI. And I've got another hot stock for you guys this week, an overextended play. You guys know to make my Bag Holder Stock of the Week, you basically got to be up at least 50% for the week so at least 50 percent for the week to even make my bag holder stock of the week and ladies and gentlemen my bag holder stock of the week is on the screen as you can see there h-u-s-a which has been on a absolute tear absolute tear over the last several days look at that look at that oh my god that is going to the moon ladies and gentlemen h-u-s-a and ladies and gentlemen this could continue to go higher okay I've got some friends who watch my show who are in the stock right now. And look, uh, don't take this, this personally. I'm, I got a show to do, you know. And at the end of the day, when we talk about overextended stocks, you've got to be honest about the, you know, what the situation is right now in HUSA. We're talking about a company here, all right, an oil and gas producer that made less than $100,000 all year last year. And again, that's clearly defined in the company's last 10K, 10Q rather. Less than $100,000 all last year. Now on my Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, you see my Twitter right there, free stock pick, follow me. Click subscribe as this is your first time watching the show. HUSA gave executives over 1.3 million shares just this past March for 30 cents a share. So as you see on the screen right now, they're sitting in profit over $3 million. Now, there's no doubt in my mind, there's no doubt in my mind, and I got to give them the uh, ka-ching for that. That, that. That's huge. Where's, where's, uh, let me give them the ka-ching for that. There, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that they're selling into this, this rally right now. You know? You guys know that at the end of the day, I do short stocks and I got to make money. I got to make some money. And I know a lot of you other guys, there are short stocks as well, too. And you're going to be all, all over this. It hit one. It failed one. There's no doubt in my mind it's going to retest one either today or even tomorrow. Look, this might not be over yet. I want to make that very clear. This might not be over yet. Also in the 10Q, they state that although taking into account current cash position of about $900,000, that they have adequate cash position right now to fund the drilling costs on their first well. So the company has two wells, all right? They've got the adequate cash position to fund the drilling costs on their first well. But they state in the filings that they do not have adequate funding available for the completion of the cost of the initial well. All right. So they got the drilling cost to, you know, get the hole in the ground. They got that money. But to actually get it down to the oil, they don't have that shit. They don't have it. They're letting you know right now in the 10Q they don't have it. They said the completion costs for the initial well and the completion of the operation of their additional wells. They don't have the money for it. Again, stated there in the 10K. What page is this? All right, they're not even listing what page it's on, but it's under financial conditions. They're under financial conditions. Okay? It's under financial conditions. All right, I'm going through it right now just to point out some other things. Uh, da, da, da. And, 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 and I think when you look at the 10K overall, 
10Q, excuse me, what you see is a company that, that is one, overpriced. Is overpriced, overextended, you know, again, barely any revenues. I mean, they got some revenues. I don't know where that comes from because I don't actually see them any, any proof of them actually selling any oil. And they don't state that they're doing, actually doing that because the original two wells haven't been drilled yet. Haven't been drilled yet. Okay? The company is hemorrhaging cash. There's been a lot of money put into the company through, you know, debt and the issuances of shares for pennies on a dollar, as I stated earlier. Oil and gas revenue for 2016 was only, well, three months ended March 31st, $48,000. And I'm not, this is not in millions. This is in thousands of dollars, folks. This is in thousands of dollars. Current cash position uh, as of March 31st was only 300 grand. It was only 300 grand. And this is supposed to be an oil and gas company. Let me see here, folks. This, this is, and again, I don't want anybody to take this personally. I'm just trying to run a show here and be honest about what the condition is of the company and what the potential profits could be for somebody who decides to go short on this stock right now. For those of you guys who are watching this in the future, I'm talking one month, two months, three months, four, five, six, seven months in the future. Give me a high five if I got this right. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and like this video right now. We will continue to watch this as this moves earlier. Let me move back to the one minute chart here so we can see the progress so far here in HUSA. As you can see here, making my back holder stock of the week. Now below my moving averages, as you see here now, HUSA fighting my moving averages now as uh, my 30-day EMA becomes uh, what looks like now a wall in the stock. So we'll see. Here's the 200 moving average there at 80 cents a share. 200 moving average there at 80 cents a share. And again, this, was, this, this, this stock's been trending for some time here, folks. Again, let me take a look at that daily chart just to show you what it looks like. All right, we just really started kind of taking off here back in February, all the way back from 19 cents a share. So we're up big, 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 big time, folks. You got a lot of people who are up a lot of money. None more than the CEOs, executives, and consultants attached to this company right now. Enjoy those profits, folks. I'll be waiting for you at the bottom. Oh, absolutely, I'm in it absolutely i'm in it averaging up all the way up so it's only a matter of time but shout out to all the people watching in the future with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you so much see you on the next episode of backholder stocks of the week take care